And today we're going to sit back and have a look. We certainly are because I'm doing a background for Jason Bowen. And don't forget to click subscribe. Yes, Jason Bowen. Here, so here's me just painting again. Right, so I thought, Jason, what can I do for you as background is concerned? Well, I've got a little canvas here. I'm just going to check its size because I've completely forgotten. And it's an 18 by 14 or 14 by 18, depending whether you live in England or Wales. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to use any brushes today. Well, I said a lie, actually. I'm going to use this one. Yes, it's a short flat. And um, ah, I thought, let's do something that Jason would like. Now, I've taken the liberty of drawing a picture, as you can see. But there. Now, it's a quick sketch, because we're going to be doing a mountain. Yes, we are. It's a mountain today. And I've been meaning to do this for a long time. So I'm picking up... Um, some gesso, that's a tomato ketchup bottle. Um, it's not white tomato ketchup, it's just a tomato ketchup bottle that I put some gesso in, which is homemade. The recipe is in the iCards and the links are in the descriptions. Please check them out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of... I did have a, a stirring stick. Where's my stirring stick? There we are. I'm going to get me stirring stick. Get me stirring stick. I had, I had these. I got these from a coffee shop. <laughs> Okay, so use this one before. Got a little bit of Prussian blue, little bit of Prussian blue, just in my gesso. Now the reason I'm using gesso is because Jason is going to be doing the background, uh, the painting, and I'm I'm thinking I'm just going to put a little bit of colour in here, and um, just give him something, something to play with, a little bit of tooth on this canvas. Now it's been pre-gessoed by the manufacturer. And when I say pre-gesso, it's not what you think it is. It's not actually gesso as far as calcium carbonate and all that is concerned. Um, as if you follow the recipe or you've seen my video uh, as regards to uh, the gesso recipe, you see I use jet calcium carbonate and some micro and, and all that type of stuff. And you just need to check the recipe out for that. Um, it's sprayed actually by the manufacturer it certainly is sprayed on and it's um it's like a um a, an acrylic um undercoat water based um sealant basically that's all it is it's like you, you can spray this on a car yes you can a lot of um car paints these days are acrylic based mm. yeah okay one second Hello Ryan. Hi Clive. Don't forget to remind your subscribers to click the iCards to see Jason's uh, completed video on this subject. So I'm just putting a little bit of what we call a ground on this canvas just to give you something to for your oil paints to bind to and, and getting rid of that nasty shop board coating us on this canvas and I kind of put a bit of gesso on there and I put a bit of blue in because I'm not even going to bother with the sky all the clouds i'm gonna leave you do that and um well as you can see we've got a nice little mountain plan there so i'm gonna that's a little sponge brush look a sponge brush it's a brush made of sponge <laughs> that's what they call it a sponge brush <laughs> okay right i'm gonna dry this off with a hairdryer i'm gonna where, where did i put my hairdryer i've moved my studio around quite a bit and um there we go Not perfectly dry I don't mind now um, what I was thinking of doing um, for Jason was I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this mountain 100% I want you to put a little bit of oil in it Jason I do yes but I thought thinking about our um, our lovely subscribers because we both got some wonderful subscribers on our channel and I'm just gonna use a little short flat there we go a little short flat one of them one of them um, I didn't say I was going to use brushes, but I'm not going to use brushes as such. Um, what I'm going to do is, is I just moisten that. I'm just pulling a little bit of this colour like that. and just thinning that down with a little bit of water just to get like a, an inky texture on my brush. Now I'm deciding, and I'm observing my drawing which I've done, um, which is there. And I should, I'll put it, I'll put it there. I'll put it here somewhere, I don't know. 
Uh, I want the top of my mountain to be roughly there, I think. And this is a good way, I thought, um, of, of doing this. If you've never done a mountain before, and you see Bob Ross coming in, and Jason, which is brilliant at mountains, one of the one of the best artists I've seen doing mountains besides some old Bob. Um, but Bob was, um, um, Jason was actually a master. Yes, he was a Bob Ross master. He was. He'd done some wonderful um, paintings in his time. I knew Jason. So I thought, just come up with a shape with your brush first, rather than go straight in with a palette knife. Come up, come up with your with your mountain shape. Get your outline roughly like this, and then I wanted to come sweeping down like that. There you go, sweeping down like that. Just a just an outline, just to give us a guide. It's like drawing something. And if you're not happy with it at this stage, we can we can maybe change it a touch. Let's get a little bit of a point up there like that. It's a pointy mountain. <laughs> a pointy mountain. Okay. Now, we want to bring this down and give it a little bit of character. Move a little bit of shape in this mountain. There we go. Let's get a couple of lumpy bits and, and we're a nice sweeping down the side there. And then that's going to go into a into an area like that. And that's going to fade on to non-existence. There we go. And I thought, let's, if we bring this down roughly like that, so we can have a we can have something going that way and then we can have a little baby one in there maybe like that there we go a little baby one in there like that um i want a nice sweeping bank in like that and that's going to come up to a nice edge and i thought let's put some sort of a maybe a cliff or a drop off what they call it what's the word i don't know it's like a drop off i think it's like a, I don't know, it's so just a drop-off thing. <laughs> I am just going to put another baby one in there then. Oops, I just lost me mic. Bump, 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 bump. <laughs> my mic fell over. It did. Okay, so I'm not going to worry too much about what's going down here because that's Jason's puppy. There we go. So let's... um. Let's get into the um, palette knife work. Okay, so onto the palette knives. I've got a several different palette knives there. And what I've done, if you actually go onto my web page, you will see that I've got some thickening agent. And what I've done is I've added some thickening agent to some burnt umber and black but there like that. I've also got some burnt umber with the smallest amount of white in it there. And again, Add in some of my thickening agent to thicken up my paint. Why? Because it acts like a heavy body acrylic. There we go. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. Just use normal acrylics and use your thickening agent. Um, I've put a lot of white now to some burnt umber. So I've taken some of that burnt umber away, put it down, and I've mixed these all on a, on, a, on a palette, separate palette. And I've added some white and a little bit of burnt umber into that. And I've thickened that up as well. And I've also separated a bit of that and put that there. And um, I've added a bit of this colour now, which is the burned umber and black, which is my base colour. And, and I've added a tiny small amount of that to that. And I've made it into a grey. Um, oh, sorry, that bit. That's the one I was on about. I made that into a grey. So this one was just a little bit of uh, white and a little bit of burned umber. That's giving me that colour. And then I've also... Um, mix this color from that. Does that make sense? I don't think it does, but you know what I mean. I will go through it again very quickly as I do this. Anyway, let's just get some, let's get some paint. So use your paint, your, your palette knife like this, look. Use your palette knife like this. And then pick up a bit of palette, paint on your palette knife like that. There we are. So we pick up a bit of palette, <laughs> palette knife pick up a bit of paint on your palette knife like that and then what we want to come in and we're just going to drag that in like this and follow our mountain shape like that if you haven't got a palette knife use a brush same thing okay it won't be so thick and gloopy but you can always use a brush if you haven't got a palette knife so don't go panic in Basically, all that is is a very dark brown, very very dark brown, and um, we, we're building our mountain now. When Jason comes to play with this, 
you can paint on top of this because it's acrylic and this is going to dry by the time I've sent it to him so there we go a nice dark colour and just keep doing that and finding that shape don't rush because if you're not very good at drawing or anything like that or doing shapes directly out of your imagination then doing a little sketch like this that I've done is going to help you immensely when it comes to mountains and things so don't ever be afraid of doing that at all just get that shape concentrate concentrate on that shape there you go that's why I don't talk because I concentrate too much now what you can do as you've seen um, many a times with um, Bob Ross and even with Jason um, if you followed with Jason I'm just gonna get a um, a bright brush this is a long handled bright because I can sit back and look at my mountain and um, I'm just gonna pull that down like this and find the sweep that I'm looking for there we go very similar to painting with oils is this there you go And this is going to go down that way like that. I'm looking at my sketch. I got my sketch down by there now. Oh, Molly bargain. Now that's going to come down. Get a bit of colour. We need to pull that down like that to, to remind us that that's a drop off certainly is dropping off like that so we get our palette knife again and we said we were going to put another little mountain shape in there didn't we this is a baby mountain perhaps this is a mummy mountain and um, she's got a little baby mountain that she's looking after there that's going to fade down We can put a little bit of character into this mountain if we wanted to as well. There you go. I'm trying to make this difficult for Jason. <laughs> I am going to put a bit of colour in this in a second. Get, oops, drop the brush trace. I dropped my brush. It doesn't matter. I'll leave the brush down there. In fact, I don't know where that went. So I have to hope that doesn't dry on me. No. So I'm going to get a little bit of this lighter burnt umber now. This is the darker one of the, of the three. And I want to come down on this drop off here like that just come down on that drop off that's gonna go up like that I don't know if we destroy this little mountain by there I'm not worried too much about that we can adjust that as I as we as we progress with this so I want to put a bit of colour just into here now just let that drag down a little bit like that exactly the same way as we did with the first coat but we just put in some 
colouring and very lightly and very very lightly just touching that little roll of paint as Bob used to say little roll of paint and just slightly slightly dragging that in like that a little bit of colour here and there pulling that down around like that and again getting a bit of this down back into this side I just want that paint to break it's not easy with acrylics it's a lot easier with oil paints to get this to break I'm picking up a little bit of that um, shadowy colour actually I think I mixed blue with burnt umber on this one I think I, that's what I did was that that one? I was odd. Well, let's go this one that's more, that's more of a that's more brown colour that's better let's try and get that sweeping in like that a little bit of paint breakage yeah Bit of brown. Bit of brown in there. Not easy. I'm not a mountain person. The hills are alive with the sound of mountains. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of this light grey now. I wanna I wanna bring a little bit of light this section here marbly effect okay so let's have a look at this now we need to bring a little bit of light back in this side now let's just pick a bit of that light color up oops it wants to stay well if that's where it wants to stay that's where it's going to stay Not the best of mountains, but it's getting there. It's getting there. I'm trying to make it. I want. I want Jason to work on this. Um, so this is not necessarily the way I would. I would do it, but I think. In, I got to think about what Jason can bring to this painting or this background. And um, this is what I'm trying to think of now as I'm doing this. Is is more of what Jason can bring to it. So it's not really a, a, a good example of um, a mountain as such, but I think it's I think it's okay. I think we get in there. Let's mix a little bit of that together. Get some more black in.
start looking. I don't know. I don't know, Jason. But we get in there, I think. I want you to play with this now. I want you to change it. And if I if I don't stop talking, I'm going to mess it up. Let's put some boulders and things down here. I want you to play with this. And this is... I could just paint... I could have just painted an ordinary mountain, I suppose, couldn't I? Um, I could have made it easy for you, but I'm not going to make it easy for you. I want to put a... Whoa, listen to that rain. Listen to that rain. That is not nice rain. Wow. What we could do, I think, um, let's get a little bit of white. I've got a little bit of my thickening agent. You don't need a lot, look. There's, there's not a lot in there. There's not a lot in there. I've used all that small amount for all of this. Just watch that paint thicken up. Oh, wow, look at that. That is nice and thick now, nice and loopy. I'm going to bring a touch of blue to it. There's a bit of bit of phyllo blue there. Just to take that brightness off. I'm hoping I'm hoping we can put a little bit of snow into this mountain now. And let's just It's not a lot of snow. We don't want a lot of snow. It hasn't been snowing that much. There's been a little snow catching in there. There you go. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a rise there like that. And there's been a bit of snow catching. Just there like that. I'm just letting the, the brush the brush the palette knife just drag very lightly and letting the paint just slowly come off the palette knife where it needs to to go and then directing it a little bit don't rush this this is this isn't this you can't rush something like this you just need to let the let the paint come off a palette knife so it's, the palette knife is not actually touching the the the, the canvas. It's just the, the the friction between the paint and and the canvas. That's all it is. It's not the actual. I'm not actually dragging the knife across as such. It's it's that little roll of paint. It's that little roll of paint that I've picked up there that's coming off this. Yeah. So it's actually the paint that's dragging down. Oh my got that. Nice bit of paint, bit of snow effect coming down there like that, and we can have a little bit of bit of snow just coming down that edge, and maybe, maybe just a little bit is caught on there like that. We put a little bit of snow in there because it's caught in there. And it's dragging down, this is a... Don't overdo this. I don't overdo snow. Because this mountain is not about... Snow. Snow is not. <laughs> so I'm, at the moment I'm just sitting back and having a look. And deciding where I can put another bit of snow maybe maybe just a little bit there and just a little bit catching 
there like that. Who knows? Snow don't know. <laughs> don't want much this side, do we? No. Don't want much this side. Just a little bit. Just a little bit pulling through there like that. Just a little bit. There we go. Maybe. Just catch in. Bit of snow. There like that. Just get a little bit of this light colour, this light grey, and just change that colour up a bit there, like that. A bit more black, a bit more black. Black, black, black. Put some rocks and outcrops in. No, I'm not gonna I'm gonna stop in a minute because I don't wanna I want Jason to work on this mountain now with I want him to go over it with oils and things. And I want him to do a little bit. I want him to improve this mountain. Jason that's your challenge. It's not only to I only I want you to do a nice sky there, but I want you to improve on this. That's your challenge. It is. Anyway, what do you think? I think that's not a bad mountain um, as a challenge. So, there we go. I finished. Um, I want Jason to do the sky. Do something down here. I wanted to paint in here, Jason. I wanted to paint. Tidy my mountain up a bit. But there's a basis for you to have a go. <laughs> I will see you on the challenge. And um, see how you manage with this. Don't forget to click subscribe.